everyone welcome back to my channel so in this tutorial I prepared this makeup for you now if you want to look fearless on your prom this is the kind of makeup you definitely have to wear it is sexy and dramatic which is my kind of makeup and if you like it please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and now please keep on watching if you want to see how I did it as a primer I'm going to use this uh, primer by Inglot it's called mattifying under makeup base Oh my god, this is so good. I love this primer. It's really mattifying my skin and it also makes my pores look smaller. If you have mixed or combination skin, this is a very good primer. I highly recommend it. As a foundation, I'm going to use Inglot HD Perfect Cover Up uh, Foundation. I don't know if this is my shade. Well, not exactly. This is the first time I'm trying it. It's a very high coverage foundation. Also, it's very powdery. I don't think that I will need um, powder over it. So, Again, I recommend it if you are really oily skin, but if you are normal, really don't buy it. But for me, because I'm com combination to oily, this is very good. This foundation is really strange because it's really heavy and uh, full coverage, but really on my skin, I don't feel it heavy. I feel it like i not having anything on my skin. To conceal my under eyes area I am using uh, Pro uh, LA Pro Concealer in the color Porcelain. I recently bought this concealer. I like it so much but there are, there are two things that I absolutely hate about this concealer. One is the application and the other one is the colors. I mean this one is Porcelain. I guess it's the lightest one that they have but it's not light enough, my opinion. Maybe yes, it is light for me, but there are people much more lighter than I am. And also I noticed that this highlighter really doesn't crease almost at all and I have creasing problems with the highlighter well not with the highlighter with the concealer sorry I have a problem with almost all the concealers that they are creasing but this one really it's really good and to set my under eyes area I'm using Laura Mercier translucent powder First on my eyes, I'm going to use this eyeliner gel by Atelier Paris and it's in the color grey. And because I'm using a lot of uh, eyeliners, I'm not going to use a base because I will use them as a base. And first I'm going to start from my lower lashes. I'm going with this makeup upside down from bottom to up. And now from the middle of my crease, I'm going to create kind of crease. Anyway, I'm going to fill my, all my lid. But I just want to know how far to go with the eyeliner. And slightly I'm going to blend the edge. And now with this flat brush, it is a natural flat brush, I'm going to blend the eyeliner gel. And 
And now I'm taking the Ivory Eyeliner Gel, also from Atelier, and I'm going to apply it on my brow bones. And now again I'm taking a clean brush to blend it. To set my brow bones, I'm going to apply uh, an eyeshadow by MAC, it's called Sweet Lust. Next above my crease, I'm going to apply Shell by MAC. And I start with this from the outer corner. And going to my inner corner. Now I'm taking the color scene and I'm going to apply it on my mobile lid. And now I'm taking a clean brush and blend everything together. On this brush I applied a small amount of black and I'm going to apply it on my crease starting from my outer corner and going slightly just into the middle of my eye. And now I'm taking this clean blending brush and I'm going to blend the black eyeshadow. On my mobile lid, starting from my inner corner to the middle, I'm going to apply ME108. It's an eyeshadow by Mecca Forever. Now, I know that the eyeshadows by Mecca Forever, they are expensive. But as a makeup artist, all I can say is that these are the best eyeshadows ever. Also, I'm applying this on my lower lashes. And now with this pencil brush by MAC 219, I'm going to blend my lower lashes. Without any additional product. Now I'm taking this product by Art Deco, it's Sparkling Lash Drops, it's like a gel glitter and I'm going to apply it on my lower lashes. Next I am using uh, the gel eyeliner by Inglot, the number 77 and I am going to line my waterline and also my inner corner. And now it's time to apply the other lashes.
So guys, I did my contouring of camera because it's the same way I'm doing it every time. But if you want to see how I did it, I will put a link in the description box. On my lips, I'm going to use this liquid lip gloss. It's a peachy pink color. So guys, this is the final result of this makeup look. I hope you enjoyed it. I know that this makeup is a little bit hard to make, but if you're patient and if you blend really good, I know that you can do it. If you are recreating my makeup looks, please don't forget to tag me. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, Snapchat and Instagram, there I am Nadra MM. And also on Facebook, you can find it in the description box. The products that I used in this tutorial, you can find them in the description box. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and comment below what you would like to see in my next tutorial. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I love you guys and see you in my next video.